Today we check out the Mesa Badlander. Today we're gonna do a little something different for the demo. Um, we're gonna go through the Badlander in a variety of ways. My final thoughts will be at the end of the video and I would encourage you to take a look at all the timestamps because I'm gonna do a lot in this demo. But this particular model that I'm gonna demo today is the Badlander 50. It is combo 112 loaded with a Celestion Creamback 65M speaker. This amp features two channels, all with the same modes. You got clean, crunch, and crush. The amp is loaded with EL34s. It can also take 6L6s. It's got a headphone eight and four ohm outputs, as well as eight different presets for both channels for the cab clone. So you can load your own IRs. You can week on live studio etc so a lot of really neat features on the amp not really groundbreaking for a lot of the stuff that's out today but it's the next step in what mesa was doing with some of the other amps they have i will explore the settings of the cab clone per channel for clean and dirty i'm also going to compare it against my recto 212 that's in the room mic'd up with an sm57 against the cab clone version that mesa has on the amp i'll use three guitars today i've got the freeman vintage thh Fano Alt De Facto PX6, as well as a Fender American Standard Ash Telecaster. At the top of the video, it was the Freeman into the Badlander going out to a Recto 212 with V30s mic'd up with an SM57 and the Wampler Doctor in the loop. Again, I would encourage you to take a look at the timestamps of the video because I'm going to do quite a bit. First up, we'll take the Fano miking up the combo with some dirt and clean tones. Then we'll take the Freeman into the Recto 212 compared against the Cab Clone. And finally, we'll take the Fender Telecaster. We'll do some clean and dirty stuff. I'm going to loop a riff and then change the settings on the Cab Clone so you can hear the differences all the way from like a 412 to a 112, which is pretty cool. Let's get to the tones. <laughs>
This is a wonderful rock amp. I can't imagine using it for metal, but then again, I'm not a metal guy. I've seen a couple demos of this amp running some metal tones, and it sounds pretty good. I also think it matters what IRs you're using or what cab you're using and how you mic the cab, because to me, my initial thoughts were, I hit that first chord and it just screamed rock to me, not metal. Like some of the other Mesa amps, like the Mark does like everything. It goes from like clean to metal, without issue. I don't hear it in this amp, but again, I'm a rock guy and I think this amp is fantastic for that. I really like the clean tones and the crunch tones. Crush takes it to another level that's very pleasing. I kind of wish it had three channels instead of two because 
I like using amps like that. I would use a clean, a crunch, and then like a heavier solo type tone, or when I need like an extra kick instead of using like a boost or something. So to me, that would be optimal. I'm kind of surprised that Mesa didn't make like a 212 version combo, but I will tell you that the single combo version, it's a really heavy amp. I found the Creamback is kind of an interesting choice for the speaker because traditionally Mesa uses their Black Shadow or V30s primarily, and the Creamback seems to be finding its way into various amps with various manufacturers. I mean, initially it sounded like a small combo to me. I, I really didn't like the Creamback. I immediately plugged into my Recto 212 with the V30s and I was like, oh yeah, there's, there's a Mesa sound and it's kind of some weird mashup between like a Marshall and like a Freebin as well as a Mesa. For a Mesa, this is a very put together refined tone, which I don't necessarily expect from Mesa. It removes some of like the hair and the grit that I've expected from rectifiers over the years. So the Creamback grew on me, but I definitely preferred it through the 212. I think in the future, I would definitely pick up the 100 watt head just so I had the extra headroom and I could use it with whatever cab I wanted. The cab clone is really cool. I, I think it's nice to explore different sounds. But again, like in the room, the combo just didn't do it for me. It sounded like a small combo and I wanted something bigger. I think it's an awesome rock amp. If you're a rocker, I think this would suit you really well. And it sounds pretty good at low volume too. It's not, I don't think you need to crank it to get some great tones. However, it does have that standard Mesa volume jump where you're at like two or three and then you turn it up and it gets a lot louder. I think it's a really cool amp. I hope you enjoyed the demo. Let me know what you think in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Many more videos to come. Don't miss one sub.